My very first role-playing game was me intruding on my brother's improv game with his friends. I was 10 years old. We played in a cotton barn that no longer exists. My brother was running it, and he presented us with a situation of a somewhat battle-techy persuasion and the mission we were given. It was, apparently, so obvious to everyone what to do, but I, being a damn contrarian, did the opposite. Failed the mission, ended the game, and got sent home. I don't know if my brother, knowing me very well, planned this whole thing to get me to go, but the important thing is, he didn't stop me. He knew what would happen if my action resolved, but he didn't stop me. That was my first game and my first lesson in respecting player agency. What's the point of this story? Stick with me for another one. When I got back in touch with my inner nerd and went to a role-playing convention to try D&D, a game I played in my early teens and kind of traumatized me, I played with the worst guide I ever met and ever will meet. It was an introductory game in a convention, so I get why keeping pace is important, but you don't just say no when a player wants to try something creative. That's probably the worst thing you can do as a guide. Worst case, trim some time elsewhere, but he said no. You can't. Why? You just can't. The rest of my experience was marred from this. Luckily, I had many great guides since then. That's the point. Respect player agency. Player agency is the greatest asset they have in the game. As a guide, you control the world. You decide what works and doesn't. You decide what is true and what isn't. The only thing the players have that you can't, in the declarative and commanding sense of the word, take away is what their characters are thinking and what they want to do. If you take that away, especially for no reason and without a prior understanding, you make a player miserable. When someone isn't having fun, you've failed your game. That doesn't mean you should let the player characters do whatever they want. That's what rules are for both for mediating that interaction and for convincing players with the veracity of your world. What's that? Here's an example. Imagine you have your big strong barbarian even wearing a belt of strength and he's trying to lift a giant granite statue out of the mine. There's no way in hell he can do that. An airlift Sikorsky can't do that. But you never prevent them from trying. Even if this obviously results in failure, it's a scene the player wants to see and feel. Now you can tell him it just doesn't work, you can describe the character trying for a minute with no results, but you can also let the dice do the heavy lifting unintended, for you. Even if you usually just explain and move on, it's recommended to use the dice every once in a while, when you want to really impress upon your players the severity of the situation. If the player rolls a middling result, it's as if you told them they couldn't do it. If it's a very bad result, we can all laugh about this momentary lapse in a greater scale. And if it's a very good result, the fact you respond with a negative will cement in the player's mind that if this very capable character, with a very good result, can't manage this thing in which they're supposed to be very capable, then this thing is some serious shit. My personal guideline, pun intended, is to let players do whatever they want, explain whatever they want, claim whatever they want about what is true in the world, as long as it doesn't conflict with something I've already established, even if the players, and especially their characters, don't know about it yet. I want them to feel like the world is open and they can do anything. That they can determine things with impact on the game world. That they can even shift the entire focus of the game for fun. Lift the reins and unleash creativity. Less than that, and I consider it a disservice and guiding negligence. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, press the thumbs up button and please tell me what you think. Was this helpful? Would you do things differently? Do you have another way of delivering a no in a satisfying way? Subscription to the channel also helps a lot. Hit the notification bell if you want to know about live streams. And that's it till next time. Stay good, have fun.